In 2016 a new Polish main battle tank was revealed. It is called the PT-16. It is a significantly upgraded version of the PT-91 Tordy, which in turn is an improved and locally produced version of the Soviet T-72. The PT-16 is proposed as a low-cost upgrade that would significantly improve capabilities of the aging tanks in the fields of protection, firepower, and mobility. Currently Polish Army operates 233 PT-91 Tordy and 120 older T-72 M1 tanks. Another 470 T-72 M1 tanks are in storage. So there are a number of tanks that could be upgraded to the new standard. Also Polish Army operates a number of ex-German Leopard 2A4 and Leopard 2A5 tanks. The older Leopard 2A4 tanks are planned to be upgraded to Leopard 2 PL standard. The PT-16 has an upgraded hull of the PT-91 and T-72, fitted with add-on composite armor kit. This add-on armor was supplied from Germany. Lower side of the hull is protected by rubber skirts. Original cast turret was also fitted with add-on composite armor. Protection level of the upgraded tank improved comparing with that of the PT-91 Tordy. Developers claim that maximum protection level of the turret's front arc is equivalent to 1,000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor RHA. Similar level of protection is present on the Leopard 2A5 tank. Protection can be further increased by fitting Polish Arawa explosive reactive armor. The new Polish tank is armed with a 120 mm smoothbore gun, which is compatible with all standard NATO ammunition. The PT-16 is offered with a new locally designed autoloader, located in the turret bustle. It holds 22 rounds of ammunition and has a loading rate of 12 rounds per minute. The previous carousel-type autoloader of the T-72 allowed to reduce vehicle crew to three men, however it had a significant drawback when the armor was penetrated, as all ammunition was stored in the crew compartment, rather than separate compartment with blowout panels. Developers also propose to fit newly manufactured welded turrets for the PT-16. It would allow to save weight or improve armor protection. Around 40 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. Various types of rounds can be fired, including the latest APFSDS and HE rounds. The PT-16 has an entirely new fire control system. Both commander and gunner use new sights. This tank has got a hunter-killer engagement capability. The commander uses a panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such hunter-killer engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. Also the tank has got a new sensor system. The PT-16 is fitted with a number of new new sensors, including laser warning receivers. These can automatically identify direction of the laser source and trigger smoke grenade discharges. Secondary armament consists of a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. The PT-16 is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. The new Polish tank is proposed to be fitted by an unspecified Serbian turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. It is worth noting that Poland had their own S-1000 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. However, since 2012 tank engines are no longer produced in Poland. Two other engines, possibly MTU diesel, developing 1088 HP and Serbian V46 TK, developing 1200 horsepower, are proposed as options. Tracks of the PT-16 are similar to those of German Leopard 2 series tanks. It seems that the PT-16 can be fitted with a deep wading kit, which allows this tank to ford shallow water obstacles up to 4 m deep, 